this video is going to introduce you to the Windows Sound component of the project. In the project, we've written a wrapper around the Windows Sound API, and your job is to understand how it works. So, first step is to go and download from eConestoga the Windows Audio component. Uh, it's called Audio for wi Audio with, with Windows in brackets, and you'll get that from eConestoga. Now, I've already downloaded that, so I'm going to open it up here. Go to Downloads, and we're looking for the, uh, in this video, we're going to look at the audio for Windows. So you're going to take that and I'm going to copy it to the desktop. Then we're going to extract it. Okay. And we're just going to use that for now. So all we need is this audio file. We don't need anything else. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the, fi the files that are in here. The, there's CPP and header files in here, and we're going to import them into a new project. So let's open up Visual Studio. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, open up the project. Create a new project. Okay, we're going to create a console app. I'm going to call it audio. And I'm going to store it in desktop audio. Place the solution in the same project. Okay, same directory. Okay, so I have my audio project here. We'll wait for it to build. And as usual, we have, you see, under source, we have audio.cpp, which is the same name as the project. So we're going to delete this, but before we delete it, I want to go in here and grab the files. So here is main sound and sound.h. So you can cut or copy them. I'm just going to copy them over. Okay, and we're going to put them in here. Put them in audio, and you're looking for C audio.cpp. That's the same folder uh, as the audio.cpp. It's got to be in this in the same folder. Okay, so we can close that, and we don't really need this. This is just our uh, a sample. So let's remove that and delete. And now we're going to bring into the project those files that we copied into the same directory. So we need sound.h, so existing item. Go sound.h, add, go to source files, let's add existing items, we'll add two of them, we need main.cpp and sound.cpp. Bring them into the project, and now we're ready to start. So this is a complete project. Um, you can use the, well basically it's uh, sound.cpp and sound.h, you're going to import those into your project. Okay, so you're, uh, when you build your project, you're going to be uh, bringing in components from you know your assignments and and so basically we're you're bringing in the the interface right sound.h and the implementation okay so these are the the functions okay and these are the implementation of those functions okay and main is just a main line that tests the the code out okay and you can actually use some of the components here in your main uh, for the project Okay, first things first, uh, for this week, your main goal is, see, what we've done here, okay, this is an interface, and there are six functions that have been written for you, okay? Now, these functions are wrappers to the Windows Sound API, okay? These are prototypes, but they're Windows Sound API, they're functions, and there are three for playback and three for recording. So you've got, whenever you want to start playing playing back sound, you need to initialize the playback buffer, you need to play the actual sound, and then you got to close the playback. Now, uh, you can think of the, uh, the, the, the output when you, when you play back, you're, like you're playing to a file. Okay, so you need to be, you need to open it, uh, initialize it, play, you actually write to the file, and then you can close the file. 
Okay. The same thing goes for recording, right? You're opening it for recording. Uh, you record and then you close the file. The same same thing you do for file I/O. Now, these are these are wrappers, okay, to make using the Windows Sound API a little bit more palatable, okay, because uh, there are a number of things you have to do in order to get it to work, okay, and, uh, and you have to read the Sound API docs in order to do that, and, and it's not it's not a trivial thing. Okay, so okay, so there's the function prototypes here, and then there's some constants here that we saw, like how many samples we want to take, uh, the minimum buff size, the recording time when we when we do our recordings, uh, how many samples per second we want to take, and and frequencies. This is something that's needed. You you don't have to worry about uh, this right now. We're at it's 96, but it's it's something that uh, you'll see uh, a little bit later. Okay, so here's our prototypes with some constants in, in sound.h. Okay, let's take a look at the implementation. So the implementation, again, we, okay, we have a bunch of uh, required headers. Okay, it was uh, sound.h, obviously, uh, math, mmsystem.h. Again, this comes from the sound API. This is uh, a requirement to use Windows sound API. We have windows.h that's required, standard IO, because we're going to have some input output. And, and these are, this is required, okay? This, these uh, comments here are required to make sure that we're linking against the uh, Windows Sound API library, okay? Uh, so this is sort of in, in the back end. Uh, it may be a little bit too much to uh, get into the weeds to, 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 to look at right now. So uh, just know that we need those, uh, those uh, libraries linked in, okay? So what, what do we have here in uh, our implementation? Well, we have, and these are uh, global variables. So these are buffers, okay? And what we're doing is we're uh, instantiating. So we have um, a constants, right? Record time is a constant. Uh, number of samples per second is a constant. So we know uh, beforehand uh, how big our buffer has to be, okay? Because so, we're going to record for a set amount of time. And so we have uh, a buffer, and then we have uh, the buffer size. Okay, and the t total number of samples is how many samples we do per second times the number of seconds we record for. Okay, so so this is good. Uh, this is these are global variables, and you have a bunch of other global variables. These are are static to this file. Okay, now your job is to figure out. You know, I've put some comments here uh, to figure out how these are used, what they're used for, okay? You can hover over and get an, get an idea, uh, but you can, you can also search online to find out exactly what they do. And I, I recommend that you do that. I recommend that you go and do that because your job this week is going to be, right, you see, we're doing a search here. You can do a Bing search if you like, but y your job is to figure out, I'm gonna move this out of the way again. Your job is gonna be to figure out uh, how this all works, okay? Uh, so let's let's go look. Remember, I said there's three playback functions and three record, and and I can you can you can look at them like this if you like. Okay, there's some auxiliary functions that are required, but there really are three main ones. Okay, uh, there's initialize playback, play buffer, and close playback. Those are the 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 main ones. These other ones here. Uh, setup format. This is a, an auxiliary function that is used by initialize playback and also uh, uh, not not uh, close playback, but initialize recording. You see, all right. So your job is to sort of figure out what everything is doing. Okay, and I recommend that you, as a team. Okay, that you record yourself going over this and explaining. Even even commenting uh, with your comments and explaining what each function does. Okay, so that's going to be your your job this week. So again, uh, initialize playback, play buffer, and close playback. These are the main ones. These are the main uh, functions that we're going to use and that we're going to call in main. Okay. So again, I said that they're they're wrappers, right? So initialize playback is something that that we wrote. Okay, to make using this, this is the API function. 
Okay. So what you could do is you could go and do search online. Say, okay, here, here it is. Here's our search, and you can go and you can you can read the docs, and see exactly what the inputs, all these arguments, okay, to the wave out. Let me see here. Make sure that's right. Wave out open. Okay. Uh, what they do and what we passed to them. Okay. Now they're not all. You got to make sure that you're getting the correct one. Okay. This may not be the correct uh, wave out open. Okay, so you might want to go and do uh, do a search and say, okay, copy this and find the exact one that matches what we're using. Okay, you can uh, go here, go here, paste, and you can see here's Microsoft Docs. Okay, and you can see what we have here. So your job this week is to actually uh, figure out how this this Windows uh, sound API is working. Uh, it's not that complicated, but I just want want you to tell me what are these these components, and maybe make comments on the side here. Okay, what do they? What are they there for? Why are they used? Okay, and if you want to make a video, that makes things easier. You can present your video. Okay, setup format is used by the initialized playback and initialized recording. Uh, wait on header is another auxiliary function. Okay, this this makes uh, this waits for whatever be, is being played in order uh, to, to finish. Okay, wait until uh, the playback has you see whatever is playing in the buffer has finished before you continue doing the next steps. Okay, so that's what what's happening here. We have these timeout periods. Okay, this is a helper function, and then we have our close playback, which basically calls this wave out close. This is like f close uh, for files. Okay. All right, so that's that's basically that. And then you have our recording functions. We initialize the same thing. We open the stream, okay, for uh, to start the recording. And if there's a problem opening it, we, we tell the user that there's a problem. Uh, we prepare the, the header for all of the, uh, for the data that's about to come in. Uh, and then we, we return. Okay, so this is our initialize recording. Again, your job is to figure out those details. Okay, and then come back and uh, explain, make sh show us your understanding. All right, the next step is, uh, or the next function here, record buffer. Uh, okay, you're going to basically show us, okay, uh, you're basically, this is the main function here. Uh, we prepare the header, that's great, but it's uh, wave in start. Okay, this this actually does the recording to the buffer. Okay, but I want you to explain why we have these these other functions. Okay, and explain and maybe put some some comments here. Uh, again, okay, and then close is like f close again. Same same idea. But why do we have this? What's the point of it? Uh, explain these these inputs. Okay, so your job is to come with a, a strong understanding and possibly a recording, that would make things much easier for you, of what these functions, these are wrappers around the sound API. Okay, uh, let's go to main. I'm going to just show you what we do. Uh, we use extern here. Again, okay, we got sound.h, we're bringing that in. Uh, we're saying extern, why? Because this i big buff and uh, l big buff size have already been declared in uh, sound.cpp. Okay, they're already declared here. Okay, so we're 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 basically saying yes, they've already been declared somewhere else, so don't worry. Uh, we ha we have an i big buff new, which we use malloc, and the reason why we do this is because what this what this main is going to do, it's going to record. Okay, it's going to record sound, then it's going to play it back from memory. Okay, from a variable, and then it's going to save if, at the user's request. It's going to save that uh, that data to a file, and then it's going to, if at the user's request, it's going to copy the data from the file, the recorded sounds from the file, into this buffer i big buff new and play it back. Okay, so so this buffer is required because when you play from a file, you need to store it somewhere. You need to take the data out of the file and store it in a, in a buffer in order to play it because our playback expects a buffer. The playback function expects a buffer. Okay, so that's why we have that. 
okay, we've got our save, replay, and, and a file pointer. This is uh, it, because we're going to be writing to a file. Okay, so what do we need to do? This, this program we expect to uh, record and playback, so we need to call the initialize uh, playback and recording to, to set up the streams. Okay, and I want you to explain what they're doing. Uh, and then we're going to start our recording. So we call the record buffer. We're recording to this buffer this many, uh, this many, uh, not bytes, but it's this times times two in this case, the buff size. Okay. All right. So you, you, you have to kind of explain what's happening there. And then we close playback. And then we ask the user, do you want to save this to a file? Uh, if yes, then we open the file, we write to it, uh, right? We write to the file, and then we close the file. And then we ask the user, do you want to play back from the file? If they say yes, then we open the file. And what we're going to do is we're going to write to, again, we have to write to a buffer. Okay? We're reading from the file and we're writing to a buffer. Okay? Because our playback requires, uh, see, play buffer requires that we play from a buffer. Uh, we can't do it directly from a file. And then we close. Okay? So let's see this in action. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, going to uh, compile and run. Okay. And here we are. It's going to it's it's it is recording. Sorry, it's recording now, recording now, recording now. And then it's going to it's it's it is recording. Sorry, it's recording now, recording now, recording now. Okay. So if you you heard, I believe you you should have been able to hear what I was saying. Now here I want to save the recording, so I'm going to say yes. It's going to save to the file. And now it's going to ask me, do I want to replay from the file? So it's going to basically copy the, from the file to the buffer. It's going to, it's, it's, it is recording. Sorry, it's recording now, recording now, recording now. All right, so that is the demonstration uh, on the Windows side. Uh, in the next video, I'm also going to show you how to do it in Linux. It's a, it's a different sound API called ALSA. Uh, I'm going to show you that in the following video. All right, thanks for watching.